Joey Belladonna from Anthrax. Hey, Charlie from Anthrax, and you are watching Artisan News. I was excited to see him. I haven't seen him I was in two weeks. To see him. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like it's like a reunion every time we run into each other. It's like, hey, what's up? Uh, what do we see the drummer? Uh, we're, we're we're gonna see uh, Taylor Hawkins. He's playing today, so we're excited to see him. Maybe sit what in. Time's the end. Uh, he's before us, I think. Oh, cool. Like maybe eight o'clock. Hey, come on, you know, you work hard, you people write a great record, and the band's happy, and we're happy that the fans are happy, you know? That's yeah. kind of what you work for, is just to, to make a great record, you know, as a musician. What do you think, Tom? I don't know what the story is behind it. <laughs> um, I knew it, then I forgot. Sometimes I forget, and I leave it up to your expectation. It could be anything you want it to be, really. I hate to spoil it, you know? That's the thing about songs sometimes. Like, if you get the whole, the actual meaning of when the song is being written and what the lyrics are about, my interpretation of it would be different. It's like, oh, I didn't think that, but... Like, even, even if you wanted to be outside and it was storming out, and you're just taking deep breaths and it was lightning out... <laughs> I'm breathing in lightning. You're breathing in lightning, you know? Like, maybe somebody actually thought it was that, and I wouldn't want to spoil it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. See? <laughs> Well, when you put it together, what did you do drum-wise, starting at the point? But that song, uh, uh, musically, that song is very old-school thrash metal. It just moved really fast, and I could tell that it was just going to make people move whenever they heard it. But the lyrics to that, I think we all have the same type of vibe of certain things about that song. We have no tolerance for certain things that we're talking about. All they know was a bitch. That's all. It was a bit of tricky, trickier one on the record. It's fast. One of my favorite things about seeing you guys live is just how interactive you guys are with the fans. Joe, you in particular, last time I saw you at the Blue Truck and Rock Festival, you grabbed my camera and you were just gone everywhere. Oh, cool. It was one of the coolest moments I've ever had at a That was a good show, actually. I enjoyed that day. So, uh, you know, how important is it to you guys to be interacting with your fans? Hey, it's what we do, right? I mean, we're happy that anybody wants to have a good time and be here, you know? I mean, nowadays we interact with them more so than ever with uh, all social media. I mean, every day you're, you're talking to someone else, you know what I mean? Answering this question or just, you'll get the, hi, nice to, you know, nice to see you on here. It's like, hey, how you doing, you know? For me, it is. I know. I'm sure it is for him too. You know why not? I mean, you're making people happy and getting new fans out of it, making making a good day for everyone. You know. And uh, I've, got, I've got to say, one of my favorite tracks from you guys ever, Madhouse. I look at what's going on on the TV today. I look at what's going on with this whole election thing, and all I can think of, my God, it's a madhouse. Okay. What, <laughs> what are your thoughts on this whole? Oh wow, that's a long one, man. I hate to get into that one. Yeah, we watch did, Bill Maher on HBO. We, 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 yep, yeah, you have to watch Bill Maher. <laughs> he's off this week, by the way. Yeah, he's off. Bill that wasn't sucks. on last night. But that maybe, sucks. maybe we'll do a, a Bill Maher panel one day. Yeah, it would be good. I, I don't know. Awesome. I wouldn't want to face Bill. I don't know. I, man, he, he. You ever want to go in the audience? I know we're tracking. I'd off love to do guy. that. But if we disagreed with something he said, he would school us on the whole thing. I was mind sitting in a room with him, just hanging out, talking wow. to. Shit. I saw him at the Rainbow like two times. Yeah, did you get to talk to him? Yeah, yeah. I said Sorry, a lot. we're going off on. Yeah, Bill we're Mar talking about Bill Maher. I was thinking politics, you know, other than, other than Fox News, you know. Or, we love Bill Maher. It's pretty crazy, but it's fun. It's definitely a, a very exciting, in one way. And uh, what are your thoughts on the kids of today? Because I see the 
honestly, but I came with the rest of two. And it just kind of blows my mind that, like, we had such a hard time. People that are way older than me had such a hard time growing up loving metal. And now these kids are able to get away with this, this crap that I'm hearing on the radio station. Compared to totally cool. But what are your thoughts on, you know, mainstream pop music today and what, you know, what it's doing? I don't know. That Calls for a lot of opinions. I don't know. You know, I don't follow it myself. I don't know about Charlie. But... I have a ten-year-old girl, so she is exposed to a lot of this crap that I, I hate. Some of it I like, but I usually I'm more up on the stuff. You know. I don't. I never thought it was dead. It was just. It was just lingering for a while. <laughs> it just doesn't get the the media attention that it once got. But we've been playing all these festivals, and forty thousand people here, sixty thousand people there. I don't think rock is dead at all. Yeah, you know, you just you just do your thing and just do it well, and people people pay attention, you know. And if they don't like it, that's all right. We still do a good job. It's all you can do, really, you know. Well, I don't know. Well, you like, who do you like, Charlie? Yeah, there's quite a few. I mean, yeah, there's a bunch out there. You know, it's hard to really pinpoint. Yeah. I don't know. No names. Still like old school stuff too. I mean, we all we're always reverting back to some great, you know, lines of bands that you love that still have great records out there you want to listen to. You know. You know, what are your thoughts on the whole Misfits review? That's awesome. Great. You know. Very happy about that. Everybody wants a shot to get doing what they do, you know? And I noticed that Rush shirt. That's got I know, you got a lot of tension with this shirt on that. I didn't, I didn't wear it for that, but you know what? We love Rush, man. I know Charlie does. I love Rush, man. Have you ever got a chance to interact with that? I haven't. I've been in the room nearby, <laughs> but I, they're not, they weren't just one of those bands that you really didn't want to banter with you, you know? I've been on the road, I've been backstage, but not not much of anything, really. That's okay, I, I'm good with it. I'm just happy to see the show. What do you have coming up in the next six, seven, eight months? Like amazing. What? What do you have coming up in the next, like, oh, seven, eight months? Charlie's got the schedule. I got the schedule in my pocket. Uh, we're gonna be doing a TV show. It's gonna be great. It's gonna take place here. It's called Sh And uh, that's it, right? <laughs> 